symptoms you should not ignore. We'll tell you when it's time to call the doctor. Hello and welcome to GMA Health. I'm Marisol Castro in New York. Can you tell the difference between a major and minor symptom? Well, most of us can't, but calling the doctor every time you feel sick can be time-consuming for you and your physician. But there are symptoms that should never be ignored. Here with his top five is Dr. Jorge Rodriguez, an MD, VIP, primary care physician, a mouthful, but well <laughs> worth it. Thank, Thank you, you so much for joining us My this pleasure. morning. So here's what happens. The vast majority of us are not doctors. Mm -hmm. We get sick. Do we go running to the doctor? Do we stay home and sort of ride it out? Well, I, I think uh, most of us, even though we're not doctors, have a pretty good intuition as to what is serious or not. Mm -hmm. So my rule of thumb is two things. If something hurts so much or is so mm -hmm. concerning, even though it is short-lived and recent, then call your doctor. And then if there's something that doesn't go away, let's say 24 to 48 hours, then definitely, at very least, call your doctor. So it's about how grave something is and how long it's lasted. Those are probably the two main things that we always need to keep in mind. Right. I always get confused with sometimes something hurts and it goes away, but then it comes back and I try to gauge, well, does it feel worse than when it first came? But you say there are five symptoms that we should not ignore. For example, chest pain. How do you know if it's, si if it's serious or if it's agita? Indigestion. <laughs> <They're>, well, <laughs> well, indigestion can be serious, but you know, people that have chest pain that's a heart attack, they almost 100% of the time tell me, tell me and tell doctors that it feels like impending doom. Mm -hmm. It's like nothing they have felt before. So if something scares you to the point that you think you're going to die, mm. first of all, maybe you should call 911 first, then call your doctor to tell them that you're going to the emergency room. So pain that scares you to the point of not being sure, if it lasts for a few hours, mm -hmm. at most, call your doctor. And then there's pain that doesn't go away. Right. An injury? Sure. That comes and goes and comes and goes. Again, if it's been there for a few days, obviously call your doctor because you could have a tear that gets worse. You say bleeding is another symptom, but what type of bleeding? We're not talking about I tripped, I skinned my knee. We're talking. Well, well we're talking. We're talking bleeding from any. Let's put it this way: bleeding from any body fluid is abnormal. You mm -hmm. shouldn't see your own blood unless you cause an opening or a laceration. So persistent nose bleeding, persistent bleeding in your sputum from coughing, mm -hmm. obviously blood in the stool or blood in the urine, those could be signs of something minor, but sometimes those are the first signs of something malignant, of something much more serious. So if it isn't natural and it right. continues, don't ignore it. Call your doctor. Go see your doctor. We, we don't mind, you know, real problems. <laughs> right. Because you never know when you need a butterfly stitch or you really need to, some, the yeah. doctor needs to break out the sutures. Um, also, interestingly enough, unplanned weight loss. Sure. When does that become serious? That becomes serious when you've lost, let's say, 5% of your body weight. Mm -hmm. the, you know, everybody would love to have a few pounds off. Sure. But if you're eating normally, and you've lost 10 pounds, 15 pounds, there's something definitely wrong. Mm -hmm. And the most concerning thing could be that you have a hidden malignancy, a colon cancer, a lung cancer. Those are the first signs in the f of, of, um, of weight loss. Mm -hmm. um, one of my relatives right now, she waited, unfortunately, until she'd lost 25 pounds and was feeling nauseated. Mm -hmm. She ended up having stomach cancer. Oh, so those things, we, you know, three months into that, mm -hmm. by that time, it's a little too late to do something right. about it. So we're not talking about the Jenny Craig plan. We're talking right. about if you're severe weight loss severe that you're weight not loss, trying. And you know when you're trying to lose weight. Mm -hmm. So don't ignore that. Right. Don't ignore that. That's very serious. Another thing that um, fever, particularly, okay, for me, but also I have little children. Mm -hmm. You know, I sort of can gauge when a fever is bad for me, but there's that fine line, you know, at what temperature does your, does your blood boil or you do become delirious, but fever, well, fever serious. Well, fever, again, the two, the two rules of, of an illness. If it's too bad, if it's too acute, then you need to call the doctor, and if it's been there for too long. So rule of thumb, 104 is a pretty serious mm -hmm. fever. Yeah. All right, for kids, maybe 103, they could start getting delirious, go into seizures. 105 is definitely unacceptable for anybody. And you shouldn't wait to call a doctor at that time. You need to do something that has, you know, that takes common sense, a little bit of acetaminophen, mm -hmm. Tylenol, right. you know, cool compresses. But if you have fevers that come and go for many days or many weeks, that could be something like a hidden infection, tuberculosis, Cancers, people don't realize, especially lymphomas, hmm. create fevers. Anytime the tissue is swollen or the tissue is dying, the body creates an inflammation. And in a lot of cancers, you have occult fevers that happen 
maybe not so high, but a fever of 100 to 101 mm -hmm. on a daily basis or every other day, that's a bad sign and should be looked into. Lastly, you say do not ignore lumps. No. No, yeah. a lump is a growth, is an abnormal <laughs> yes, growth. Yes, right, exactly. Right, so anything that is new into the body should be looked at. There's some lumps that are very benign, like yeah. pomas, which are little fat balls, mm -hmm. you know, to use the very medical sure. term, fat ball, uh, is nothing serious. But if you've had a lump that grows or becomes uncomfortable, definitely should be evaluated. I can't tell you how many cases, especially in women with breast cancer, sure that come in with a large mass and you wonder how long have they had mm -hmm. it there. Well, they've had it for months because you keep hoping against hope right. that it goes away. Excellent advice, Dr. Rodriguez. Thank you so much My pleasure. for joining us. And you can get more health news and information that's good to go, good to know, by going to the health page at abcnews.com.